Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back to continue my Let's Play of Yakuza 3 Remastered. Welcome, welcome back. We are once again in Kamurocho, because yesterday we spent a lot of time just figuring out some old Komaki moves, and we basically completed that beginning, because we had to remember everything first. So we then went around the town a little bit, and uh, there's some more sub-stories to do around here. So let's go and explore a little bit more today, and uh, we'll probably do another assassin for the HLA as well. So let's talk to this guy. Hey, you all right? Berated young man. I'm fine. Just just leave me alone. Oh, berated young man. I'm stupid. <laughs> Looks like he's having a rough time. Maybe I should lend him a hand. Let's lend him a hand. Time to be a good Samaritan. Oh, looks like he has the uh, manga that we were looking for. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, <sighs> I'm fine. The hell? Why do you have so many copies of Shonen 5? Yes, um, well... You on your way to deliver them? Yeah. No, I bought all of them. You bought all of them? What for? Uh, well... Oh, no, I've got to hurry. Why? What's up? I've got to get to this important meeting at a cafe. Sorry, but I really have to go. Maybe you should put that bag into a coin locker before you run off to your meeting. It's fine. I'll get rid of them later. Wait, get rid of them? Anyway, thanks for the help, but I've got to get going. The hell's going on with that? There he goes. Why is he going to throw all those magazines away? I hope he's feeling all right. He said he was going to a cafe for a meeting. Might be a good idea to check on that guy later. I'm sure that guy's at the Alps, right? That's like the biggest cafe that he possibly could be going to, and it's the site for a lot of meetings and in, in, in various games. So we're definitely going to check that out for sure this episode. Because I want to get that... Oh, well, thankfully, I've already gotten him off the street. But then, we got to find out why he's taking all the Shonen Fives. Especially because they're kind of a hot commodity, right? Well, at least they're going to be in Okinawa. Because we found out that things come out way later in Okinawa compared to Kamurocho. Which makes sense. You know, big city versus small town. Alright, let's uh, whack these guys. Beautiful. And we've got some heat in case we get into a fight later. Which you know we are going to get into a fight later. Sorry, I've learned my lesson. Here, take this as, as thanks. Oh, nice dry or plus. That's for heat, so now we can get some more heat if we want. Let's check out the Alps, like, right away. We won't waste any time going there. And uh, we know exactly where it is, so we might as well just take a take a dive down here and, and, and see what's going on. So, the Alps is coming up right over here. Sorry, I was just looking for none other than our locker keys. Let's go. Yeah, there's one right there. Number 37. I'll take that. Let's see if this guy is still here or, or what. Oh yeah, here he is. Perfect. Please, you've got to draw your manga. Please, I can't accept your offer. I'll return the million yen I won too. Just please, let me go in peace. Returning your reward money would be a lot of trouble. Please, just consider the publishing offer one more time. I just can't do it. I don't have time to be working on manga right now. Are you worried about your parents? I can convince them. You can't convince my father. It's impossible. He'll say no, no matter what you say or offer him. Well, why did you enter the contest then? I know you want to draw manga here in Osan, and I know in my heart that whatever you create will be a smash hit. As your editor, I will do all that I can to support you and the series you create here on Osan. Let's work hard together. I still can't accept your offer. Just pretend that this never ever happened. Goodbye. Ah, so he bought them all to throw them out. Oh, you're the man from earlier. What were you two arguing about? I've got to go. Poor guy. Can we talk to the editor? I'm kind of curious. Yeah, there we go. I'm sorry about the ruckus. That guy with the backpack looked pretty down in the dumps. Pardon my asking, but are you one of Hirano-san's friends? Hirano? Who's that? The man I was just speaking with. It looked like he knew you somehow. I found him collapsed in the street earlier. Collapsed in the street? That's awful. Creating that masterpiece of his must have taken its toll on his body. No, I think it was because his backpack is too damn heavy. Huh? Forget it. It's not important. You said something about manga. What's that got to do with him? Hirano sounds a professional manga artist. Or, well, he was going to be a professional manga artist. I'm not sure he will anymore. What's that supposed to mean? This week's Shonen 5 announced the winners of the Shonen 5 Awards. One of those winners was Hirano-san who won the grand prize in the Young Artist Division. Is that right? 
This week, we ran the winning entries in Shonen 5, but now Hirano-san says he won't draw manga ever again. I overheard you mentioning his parents. Are they part of the problem? That seems to be the case. Apparently, Hirano-san's family is somewhat famous in Okinawa. They're all brilliant doctors. Hirano-san himself is studying to be a doctor, too. He's currently attending medical school at Toto University. Okinawa? Funny you should say that. I wish I could go to Okinawa and convince his parents to let him pursue his dream, but I'm afraid that Hirano-san has already given up. And he comes from a family of doctors in Okinawa, right? Hmm. Hirano-san's got so much talent as an editor, I can't let myself give up on someone like him. It takes one in a million to become a professional manga artist, and of those, only those who are personally selected. Hirano-san's talents deserve to be put on display for the world to see. And his parents are famous doctors in Okinawa, hmm? Hey, are you even listening to me? You keep going on and on about that Okinawan doctor thing. What's wrong? Oh, sorry. Truth is, I actually live in Okinawa. Wait, really? That's perfect. Would you come to me to Okinawa? Wait, what? I wanted to go to Okinawa to meet with Hirano-san's parents, but to be honest, I was too worried to go. I have no idea what things are like down south. I can wait until you go back to Okinawa, please. I just need someone to be my guide. I know you say you can wait, but I have no idea when I'll be getting back to Okinawa. That's fine. Until you do, I'm going to spend some time finding out where Hirano-san's family lives. How do you plan on meeting up with me in Okinawa? Hmm, good question. It'd be easiest to meet you on the main street of downtown Ryukyu. Is there a good meetup place somewhere along that road? Let's see, there's the OPA building. That could be a good spot. OPA? Oh, I know what that is. Sounds great. Right then, when you get back to Okinawa, meet me in front of the OPA building. I'll be waiting there. Hold on, you're speeding way too fast through this conversation. No need to rush. I've got to get going now. Oh, right, what's your name? It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san, got it. I'll see you soon. Interesting. That editor guy didn't even ask for my cell phone or anything. At least he's got my name. Hope he'll be okay. So it looks like we have some more reason to go to Okinawa, which is great. And since we have some health to heal, let's order some stuff here. So let's see here. You can only order one thing at a time, it looks like. That's kind of annoying. Um, let's do some coffee. And this... why? Why? I don't know. All right, we'll get the beef curry set. And then we'll probably order a coffee on top of that, because I doubt that'll... Wow, it did heal us all the way. Perfect. Beautiful. You're very welcome, sir. I love Cafe Alps. It's such a nice vibe every time I go in here. But it looks like we're going to have a lot of stuff to do for when we get back to Okinawa. And it looks like there's a lot of sub-stories on the street. They just keep popping up the more and more we do things here. So, let's, um... Why not? Let's, let's indulge as much as we possibly can before we go back to the Serena. Or the new Serena, I guess. Dude, this guy's leopard print is killing me. So it looks like I'll be the one killing him. Look at that. You like that? You like that? Beautiful. There we go. Get out of here, boy. Yeah, against the wall! I love it, man. I love it. Give me that knife. The knife didn't last a Ow! The knife didn't last us very long, but that's okay. Where you at, boy? You're about to get messed up. It's trash collection day. <laughs> but actually, that's what you get for wearing leopard print. A diplomatic 3,000 yen. That is nothing, man. Let's go back to this. Ew! Get away from us, you creep! Nami? Who's Nami? I don't know any girls named Nami. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you. I just heard that my daughter Nami might be here in Kamurocho. Piss off, punks. Leave the guy alone. Oh, shit. Yo, this guy's not fucking around. Let's get out of here. Is this the father of the part-timer? Could be. You alright? Not to offend, but you don't really look like you belong here. Thank you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't stopped to help. Why'd you pick a fight with those punks anyway? What do you need from guys like them? I'm embarrassed to even speak of it, but my dear Nami ran away from home. Nami? That's your daughter or something? Oh, right, I'm sorry. I'm just so used to everyone knowing who she is. Right, so you're looking for this Nami of yours. That's right. I asked some of her friends if they'd seen her, and they told me she'd s they'd seen her in Kamurocho. I thought that some of the young women here might have seen her or heard of her, but every time I try to ask someone for help, they start calling me a creep. 
Not surprised. An old guy like you approaching young women on the street? No wonder they're getting the wrong idea. I suppose you're right. Those kids must think I'm some old pimp looking for fresh meat. I've never imagined Nami would run away from home, but I suppose even 20-year-old girls can become runaways. Do you have any clues as to where she might have gone? I just assumed that eventually I'd find her walking along this busy thoroughfare. Really? You don't have any specific leads as to where she might have gone? Unfortunately, I don't. She didn't leave any hints as to where she was going. You have no real way of finding her, then. I know, you're right. But I worry about her. I don't think she had any money when she left, so I have no idea how she's getting by. No money, huh? Well, if she really is staying here in Kamurocho, she's probably working part-time to keep herself afloat. That makes sense. She could support herself for a while if she took on a part-time job. Wait a second. There's only one kind of job a homeless girl could find in Kamurocho. Uh, no, she wouldn't, would she? Ugh, <sighs> she would, wouldn't she? Yeah, she probably would. Shady clubs would be the only places willing to hire someone with no permanent address. Eh, it's not as bad as you think. Nowadays, clubs are more careful about who they hire. They're not picking up every homeless girl on the street. I hope you're right. I hope I'm right too, for her sake. Looking for a good time? Come down the honey. It's a whole new kind of telephone club. Hmm? What's so different about it? With honey, you don't even have to go to the club. Just call our exclusive phone line and you'll be automatically connected with one of our sweethearts. Say goodbye to the walk of shame as you exit a club. And don't worry, our club welcomes all men, both young and mature. Mature? How old do you think I am? Oh, I'm so sorry. In any case, you should definitely give it a try. Thank you. You got honey's tissues. Uh, let's see, what are we throwing away? Oh, put the, put the worm in the box. Tissues for a telephone club. That's strangely poetic. Huh? Hey, look what's written on the package. We accept all female applicants, regardless of age or residence status. Do you think Nami might be working at a telephone club? It's not out of the question, I suppose. Please, sir, what's your name? It's Kiryu. Thank you so much for all your advice. I'm going to try and find Nami at a telephone club. Hey, man, wait. Oh, that's right. Here's my number. I'll have to personally thank you if we end up finding her. Right then, I'm off. Call me later. Look, that's fine, but I I've got to get to a telephone club. Thank you again. Nami, this Nami quest she seems like it'll be interesting. Poor guy. I don't think he realizes that he won't find any girls at the telephone club's physical location. Oh, well, if I ever feel like it, I can call this telephone club and see if I can find a girl named Nami. I suppose we could always call. But uh, there's no there's some story here that's been waiting in the park for all this time. So let's go and talk to this guy on the ground. Hey, are you all right? Please, I need water. Ugh, it feels like my intestines are on fire. I'm sure that's how it feels when you drink yourself into a stupor. He'll probably be just fine, but I suppose giving him some water wouldn't hurt. Let's give him some water. Do we have any? Okay. All right, let's go and buy some from the popo over yonder. Let's see, is there anything we can just, like, put in a box? It, that worm definitely can, so let's run up to the save point up north here, throw the worm into our item box, and then we'll be able to continue with that sub-story. And there's even another one over here at Millennium Tower. We have so much stuff to do on the map. And uh, I don't feel too shameful about doing all this stuff now. Because eventually we're probably going to have to go back to Okinawa. And then there's going to be like a trillion things to do back then. Including some hostess stuff. So let's throw that in. Shonen 5 will keep. Everything else will probably keep as well. So let's see if we have any water in our recovery items. Nope, doesn't look like it. So, to the popo it is. And uh, I know exactly which one to go to because, as you know, there's a popo just west of there. Let's just hope that it carries the water that we need because... Oh, wait, here's the gelateria. Um, we can come back here after we do the substory, actually, because we want to... Wait a second, I just saw a guy running over there. What is this all about? Wait, oh, god damn it. We got ourselves another set of tissues here. Let's discard these. Um, we don't need two copies of them. And uh, this guy is like running everywhere on the map. I've never seen anything like that before. Very cool. Definitely gonna find Nami eventually. Just for right now, we're going to grab some water and help the drunk guy. So let's see, where's our water here? There we go, Suntory Minimal Water. Beautiful, beautiful. I almost want to buy the catnip stick, just in case there's like some sort of cat quest that we have to do. But hey, let's go back to the park. Wait, sometimes the camera gets a little bit funky after you leave a 
building. It's kind of odd, but nonetheless, let's help this guy. Uh, let's get him some water. Come on, dude. His intestines are on fire. Kiryu, you don't have to think that hard. Here, drink this. Ooh, that's better. Thank you very much. You okay now? Yeah, I never drank that much alcohol before in my life. I thought I was gonna die. A man should know his limits. I suppose so. Sorry for the trouble. I had to take some clients out on the town for the night, you see. And I'm still in my first year at the company, so I can't turn down a drink when our clients want to get another round. So you're a new recruit, huh? But still, even in your situation, you gotta know when to put your foot down. You're right. Sometimes I end up doing stupid things, all because I don't know when to say no. I see. I mean, this isn't how it was supposed to be. I initially joined this construction firm I'm in because I wanted to design skyscrapers and other complex architecture work. But all I ever do is entertain these two-bit contractors who want us to build the same old boring apartments over and over and over. Day in and day out. It's nothing but bars and hostess clubs with a bunch of drunk old men. I'm starting to feel like I'm not cut out for this. Hmm. If you don't like it, just quit. Want me to take your place? Oh god. Let's we'll go with that. Want me to take your place? Wait, what? How can I let you do that? You get paid to drink beer and go to clubs, right? I'm sold. It's not as attractive as it sounds, man. I'm not supposed to actually get drunk, and if I end up pissing off the clients, then our contracts go right down the train. It's not fun at all, let me tell you. But, it's my job and I'm probably whining way too much. I'll give it another shot. We're supposed to be hosting a party at that club over there, so maybe I'll go face the music like a man. Is he talking about the shine? Or, uh, not the shine. Um, oh my god, why can't- the Stardust? The Stardust Club, does he mean? That would be kind of interesting, I suppose. But while we give that guy a second to do his job, let's head over to the Gelateria. Which, uh, I think is up here, right? Yeah. Perfect. I'll go see how our part-time, uh, friend is doing. Welcome! Have you decided what you like to order? Well, um... We'll get the quadruple scoop, because why not, right? Thank you very much. Wait, that's it, right? This is a huge line. She's obviously holding up everybody. Can we talk to her over here? Oh, there we go. Oh, cure you some! Come by to take a load off? What's this line for? Huh? Doesn't everyone love ice cream? kaede san stop standing around and start taking orders. I'm taking them. Jeez, what's the big rush? Ma'am, please let me take over for kaede san We've got too many customers waiting. <sighs> kaede san why are you making our customers wait? I just thought, well, they made the effort to come all the way here. The least they deserve is a bit of friendly conversation. This is a business, not a social club. kaede san I don't think you're a good fit for this shop. I'll give you the rest of your pay, so don't bother showing up tomorrow or the next day either. Because you're fired. What? Not again. Poor Kaede. Ugh, can't believe I lost another job. Sounds like you need to pull yourself together. I was never this busy when I worked part-time in Okinawa. I've got to start the job search again. If I don't work, I won't even be able to feed myself. See you later then. I'm going to see if I can find a job around here. I'll text you if something works out. Jesus, man. Well, that's the end of that. Well, not really. For now, I guess. She's going to get another part-time job, get fired, then probably will realize that she wants to go back to Okinawa. Kiryu-san, I just got a part-time at the bowling alley. I should be okay this uh, time because there's no food involved. I'm at Mock Bowl on Theater Alley. I know it's going to work out this time. Well, you know what? I'm glad it's going to work out for you. Let's head over to Club Shine here. and uh, Well, maybe this is the club that he's talking about. Okay, all right, all right. I know you're fixing to fight, but maybe it isn't a good idea. Now, maybe that's just my inexperience talking here. You know, it's, this is only Yakuza 3. There's like a million of them in the series, but... You know, we played four of them already, and most people always end up in the same situation, so... Fuck that guy up with a bounding attack, and uh, that guy with a heat action, so... Give me your money! Tell me what you're going to give me here. Oh, 5k. I'll take it. Alright, let's go and find this guy at the Stardust, I'm assuming. To see if he's getting super duper drunk. Is he at the bar? No, he's probably upstairs with clients if I had to guess. You know, honestly, I didn't even think of looking for locker keys here. But it probably isn't a bad place to check. Uh, let's see here. Nope. 
not seeing anything. I'm not seeing that guy either. Uh, what if we first person? Uh, he could be in the bathroom. Maybe he's drunk, like super duper drunk. Nope. All right. Well, that seems to be everyone that we are checking here. Uh, maybe he's here. Welcome to Stardust. Please allow us to give you the five-star treatment you deserve. Well, nope. Guess I don't see him. Maybe we have to wait a little bit? Or, uh, you know, get into a cutscene or something? I don't know. While we're here, let's see about calling the number on the tissues. I'll give this call up a call and see if I can find a girl named Nami. One moment, please. Your call will be connected to the next available caller. Hey there, thanks for giving me a call. Yeah, sure. You know, I'm kind of hungry. Want to treat me to some yakiniku? Huh? Actually, I've got a question for... There's a restaurant called Kanrai, I think. It's on Shichifuku Street. I'll meet you there. She won't even let me get a word in. Kanrai on Shichifuku Street. Guess I'll go check it out. Something tells me we're going to meet and she's going to want us to just feed her. Because if she's working part-time and can't really make ends meet, then she's probably joining this telephone club to be able to eat, pretty much, which is a really sad way to subsist. So let's go and see if that is truly the case. And, uh, if... Damn it! We're fighting everybody. We're not even drunk and people want to fight us, man. That is just... It's a lot of work pounding heads into the pavement, but so it goes. Come on. Somebody's got to attack. Yep. Oh, shit. We got to fight. There we go. One more swing. Well, one more hit, I should say. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> These guys get so messed up. Kiryu's really good at that. You know what? That 20k, pretty worthwhile. Pretty worthwhile. We could visit the mock bowling alley and see her get fired again. But then again, where's the fun in that? We should really go to Shichifuku and, and figure out this telephone club story first. And then, don't forget we have our assassin. So... <laughs> We're really trying to be thorough here, almost like too thorough, I'm sure some would argue, but uh, I like doing the sub stories and there's like a lot listed in the list of things, so it's definitely something I want to do. Now, Kanrai is up. God, I should have been paying attention. I could have probably avoided this confrontation here. Oh, well, let's start with a heat action on this guy and probably finish him off. Well, maybe not, I guess. Oh, well. Oh, you know what? Actually, we have a bike here we can hit people with. Perfect. Oh, you think you're gonna hit me with a bike, huh? I thought so. Oof. Not a good way to uh, spend your teeth, you know? Alright. 5k? Not bad at all. I thought I saw a green arrow over there, which means somebody wants to talk. But let's go to Conroy. Hopefully there's no Dine and Dasher here, wink wink. But legit, I think that is the girl that we're meeting. And based on her, like, country accent, it wouldn't surprise me if she is Nami. Oh, you're the one who called me, right? I knew it as soon as I saw your face. You look just like how you sounded. I'm Chica. Let's go in already. I'm so hungry. Shit. It's not her. We need to get more. <laughs> this is so good. It's been so long since I've had Yakiniku. Even though I'm in my 20s, I'm still stuck working part-time, so there's no way I could afford it otherwise. This doesn't seem like the girl Nami's father was looking for. Question for you. Would you happen to know a girl named Nami? She ran away from home not too long ago and came to Kamarocho. I think she might be working at your telephone club. Oh, you must not understand how these things work. The girls working for telephone clubs just take calls from the club, so we're never actually, we've never actually met one another. That makes sense. Oh, but I might know that girl. Huh? Really? I ran away from home myself three years ago. I had nowhere to stay here in Kamarocho, so I would sleep at a burger joint. A burger joint? Sounds uncomfortable. Sure, but it's open 24 hours and you can get free coffee refills. A lot of girls who run away from home hang out there. 
A few days ago, a girl in her early 20s started coming by the burger place that I go to a lot. I bet she's another runaway. You think she could be this Nami girl? I don't know, but from what you've told me, it's pretty likely. Where's that burger place? It's called Smile Burger on Nakamichi Street. You'll know it when you see it. Got it. Thanks. Hey, I was a big help, right? You'll let me order more food, yeah? Sure. Order whatever you like. Then I'll take the premium salted beef tongue, the premium wagyu sirloin, and... Oh, today's special, the 2009 champion beef sirloin. Ugh. She's got my wallet in her vice grip. Yes, she does cure you. Yes, she does. That'll be 20,000 yen for you, but 40k isn't that bad. I didn't expect it to be this expensive. Well, of course it is. An information like that doesn't come cheap. She's seriously one shrewd woman. Alright. Wait, shouldn't it be 40k? Oh, 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 he meant 20k for the two of them, and not 20k each. That was fun. Thanks a ton. I've got to get my other job now. See ya. Bye now. Okay, so I guess that isn't the Nami that we're looking for, but we do have a lead. The Smile Burger. I should stop by and check it out. Well, if you know me, then you know that I will be stopping by and checking out the Smile Burger, of course. Uh, it's not that far away, so it's really not that big of a deal to go down and check. And if we can cinch this sub-story, then we've got a good motivation to go and take out the last assassin from the, for the HLA. At least that would be... That would be the plan. The, the preliminary plan here. Damn it, I thought I was going to get the flying heat action. Yeah, we can't grab the heavies, but they're fun to punch, you know? Oh, we bounded him almost against a wall. Perfect. Oh, that guy's got a pretty nasty black eye, and well, that's okay. We'll take the 3,000, we'll move on with our lives, and uh, we'll head to the Smile Burger. So, but yeah, I think that'll be good motivation for us to do another Hitman to make our 90k, and then hopefully finish the list of Hitmen for this part of the story. Because that would be awesome, honestly. That, that would make me feel like I've done quite a bit of work. We're supposed to meet up in front of the Smile Burger, right? According to Chica, this is the place. Um, are you the guy who called me? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm waiting for someone. I just thought you were them. Wait a sec. What? You wouldn't happen to be from the telephone club, would you? Yes, actually. Oh, so you were the guy on the phone? Not quite. I'm not looking to be a customer. Huh? By any chance, is your name Nami? Wh Wait, what? How did you know my name? I ran into your dad not too long ago. He's been looking for you. Huh? Why is dad looking for me in Kamurocho? You wait here. I'm going to give him a call. No, please, don't. No complaining. Stay here for a moment. Kiryu, she doesn't want to talk to him. Or see him. Uh, hello? Is this Nami's dad? It's me. Oh, it's you. Did you find her? Yeah, I found Nami. We're at Smile Burger on Nakamichi Street. Really? Stay there! I'm on my way. I guess if she's homeless and in need, she probably should see him as much as she doesn't want to. Nami! You're okay! Dad, where the hell have you been, Nami? I've been looking everywhere for you. Why are you so mad? I just wanted to get away from home for a while. You didn't have to chase me all the way here. We're going home right now. This is no place for you to live. Oh, shit. Whoa, hey, it's Nami. What's up? You in some kind of trouble? Oh, you Tokun. Who the hell are you guys? Who's this guy? One of your clients? No... Actually, he's... client. Like hell I am. I'm her father, damn it. Wait, you're her dad? For real? Dude, that's hilarious. Wait, why is that hilarious? Who are these rude young men, Nami? Tell me everything. <laughs> Heh. <laughs> We're Nami-chan's Tokyo buddies. Don't worry. Ever since she ran off to Tokyo, we've been taking good care of her. In more ways than one. Heh. <laughs> taking care of her? That's right. We taught Nami-chan how to con those telephone club losers out of their cash when she's not doing so hot. It only took a few days for us to turn Nami-chan into a real adult woman. You little bastards. Does he beat him up? Yo! Hey, ow! What gives, old man? I'll deal with Nami later. First, I'm going to teach you punks a lesson. The fuck you say to us? If you're gonna act like a mischievous punk, 
You'd better be prepared to get treated like one. Shut it, you old fuck. You really think you can beat us in a fight? You ain't gonna make it out of this with all your bones intact. Let's fuck them up. They're really... It really, it doesn't get old, man. I love it. It's time to beat up a horde of men. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Into the wall you go. You can bound them all you want. But these guys are afraid and I'm about to hit them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. We'll just use what is given to us on the street. Take down these mischievous punks. <laughs> Who the hell are these guys? They ain't human. I can't believe we lost to a bunch of old farts. Like I'd ever lose to half big punks like you. Naomi, when I'm done with you, you'll wish you never made that stupid decision to run away from home. Damn. What the hell, Dad? This is exactly why I left home in the first place. Why didn't you ever tell me anything then? Your mother and I would have been worried sick- uh, have been worried sick about you. You left without a note or saying anything. Like a coward. Try and understand how your old man feels. There aren't a lot of parents out there that care enough about their kids to get this angry. If you're unhappy about something, then we should talk about it. After all, we're a family. Aren't we, Nami? Daddy... It's up to you whether or not you want to live in Kamurocho, but it's not easy for a woman to live in this town by herself. You'll have to sacrifice a lot of comforts. Unless you're prepared to make that sacrifice, you'll get duped by idiots like them. You got that? Yeah, I get it. Let's go home, Nami. Your mother and I are going to have a word with you when we get home. Okay. I can't thank you enough. I'll never, ever forget what you've done for our family. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. A hundred thousand yen? Again, thank you so much. What the hell, man? That's insane. I don't even want, like, that much money here. But, man, I'll take the 3,000 experience points. Just give me experience points. I don't need money. All right, let's go see what we can do about this last assassin. Since we're literally right here and near a save point. Um, well, not necessarily near a save point. But you know what I mean. Let's go and fight this assassin that uh, we actually might not be able to fight, come to think of it. Because, well, maybe. There's these guys talking here. What's wrong, Grandpa? You lost or something? Maybe we could uh, show you the way back to the nursing home. For a small fee, of course. Kamarocho, Kamarocho ain't no place for an old guy to be walking alone. That's why you need guys around like us. For protection. Uh, no thanks. I should be just fine on my own, actually. Interesting. So this is definitely a sub-story. The Hitman's shoe should be somewhere where he can look out over all of Kamarocho, like the Millennium Tower? On second thought, it might be way too high up for a sniper. Still, there might be a good vantage point within the building itself. That street musician Hideki is always hanging around the Millennium Tower. He might know something. Alright, let's go talk to Hideki. Um, we'll deal with that sub-story a little bit later, of course. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, hey, Kiryu-san. Hey, I'm looking for a place where I can get a pan panoramic view of the city. A panoramic view? Planning a hot date? In any case, the roof of the Millennium Tower would give you a real nice view. The roof of the Millennium Tower? Of course. I doubt you could hit anybody in the city from way up on the Millennium Tower roof. I don't care how good of a sniper he is. But if I'm remembering right, access to the roof is usually closed off. The Cosma family office is on the top floor, and they don't allow unauthorized people up there. The HLA is under Cosma family's control. I'll try talking to one of Ibuki's men. Well, sorry to bother you. Hmm. Talking to Ibuki's men. That's uh, something that we could do. Um, we know where the HLA is. Oh, we actually straight up knocked that guy down. That's awesome. That's that's awesome, man. We're just putting everybody down, even civilians. No, 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 no. We're not getting into a fight right this second. We have other things to tend to, um, which I think uh, he's over here down one of these HLA heck Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so we'll head down here, and uh, we'll see if we can see this assassin thing through real quick. I don't think we're going to be able to get up onto the Millennium Tower right now, so that will be an interesting thing to see how we can work around it. I'm just going to grab the bikes to our left here and mess this guy up a little bit. It shouldn't be too difficult of a task. Beautiful. Perfect. Alright, buddy. I 
can't Komaki Tiger drop in time. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, this guy is done for. Perfect. All right. Ooh, we bound him against the wall right there. That would have been really nice. I no more. A Baroque Pearl. That's probably something that we could sell, I'd imagine. All right. We need to go to HLA headquarters and not... We're not wasting time, but uh, the restaurant shut down. Guess I'll have to go in the back. Ah, of course, the back way. How could I forget the back way? All right, let's hop into HLA and talk to one of the guys here. Hey, do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? I've got a hunch the Hitman shoes up on the roof of the Millennium Tower. Huh? But it's impossible to hit anybody from way up there, isn't it? I've been thinking the same thing, but I'd still like to check it out just the same. Okay, understood. Whenever you're ready, just let me know. All right, I'm 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 ready to go. Let's go. Understood. I'll accompany you there. Well, that's one way around things. Holy shit. Oh, that's so cool. I did not actually think that we would go straight up here and uh, it would look this awesome. Man, look at this view. What a cool view. Is it like copied? Kind of. It kind of looks copied. What are you doing here? What do you want? Go away. I don't feel like talking to people right now. You must be Shu. How do you know my name? Who are you? I'm with the Honest Living Association. The HLA, huh? I went to them for help once. I'm not looking for work right now, though. Could you leave me alone? I'm not here to offer you work. I'm here to find a hitman who works for the Reapers. What? I don't have time to play games with you. Will you come with me to the HLA's headquarters? Did you really think it would be that easy? I'm prepared to use force if I have to. You'll regret it if you try. Uh, no, I, no, I don't think I will. All right, he's got a shoddy, but we should be able to close the distance pretty okay here. Yo, oh yeah, it's the new heat action. Oh, that's sick. I love that, man. If we back him up against a wall here, we'll actually, ooh, he just straight up countered me there. Can we grab him? Oh, good. We can throw him. Yep. Okay, that's fine. You don't want to get hit? That's fine. All right, buddy. All right, we'll just go for grabs. Once again, it's like, what the hell am I expected to do here? I'll just grab him again. I mean, it's... That's just how it goes, right? I thought I quick-stepped in time, but not the case. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, I get it, buddy. I get it. Maybe when he's in block mode, we grab him. Otherwise, we can jab him. Okay. I don't like the instant shots there. See, like, there we go. I mean, that's some sort of loop, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's my fault for having up against the corner. All right, grab. Grab and loop. Yep. That was beautiful. That was telegraphed. Well, no, that was a hard read from my head, and my head told me the right thing, so that made me really happy. <laughs> we take those. All right, let's do the uh, let's do the head press on him. I don't know if they do any different amounts of damage or if it's just different flair for the same thing. Ooh, we took him down. We'll take it. Two experience points too. Thank you very much. No way. You ready to come along now? Ugh. So what were you doing here anyway? Who were you after? Nobody. I'm just here to relax. Don't lie to me. Why would you come here if you weren't planning a hit? I'm not lying. I come here whenever I get the chance. Why on earth would you come to a place like this unless you had a good reason to? I get scared. I don't like being cooped up in places that don't have a view of my surroundings. Scared? Did something happen? I blew an important mission. Completely destroyed my hitman rep. I was trying to shoot between buildings. I was sure I could do it. 
but I botched it, and it was a shot I couldn't afford to miss. Ever since, I've had this strange, uneasy feeling whenever I'm in a place that doesn't have a wide-open view. Sniper post-traumatic stress, then. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, just think about it. This place is a clear view, sure. But do you really think I could hit a target from here? Probably not. Exactly. So there's no way I could be after anyone. I've been coming here a lot lately. Guess I'm not acting much like a hitman these days. I see. Guess you're not really a bad guy. But you still have information we need, so you're going with me to the HLA. This Honest Living Association story is very interesting. Great work here, you son. I'll take it from here. Ib Ibuki-san's waiting for you at headquarters. I'll accompany you there. Man, it's screwing with me that the guy's name is Ibuki and they're a Street Fighter character, honestly. <laughs> Great work. I'm glad you're okay. So she was at the Millennium Tower, huh? He couldn't possibly have hit anyone from way up there. That's like the fourth time we've heard that line. He's an earnest fellow. I think he'll come to understand us once he's heard us out. Kiryu-san, well done. Here's your reward. We appreciate your hard work. I'll take the 90k, man. Thank you very much. What else you got for me? Is there anything? It's all the hit, uh, Hitman information we've managed to gather. Okay, there's no new information about Hitman. Perfect! So I'm sure there's going to be a million other things for us to do. But for now, I think that's pretty much all we have for what we would want for this episode and for Hitman in general. So let me head back to... Get out of my way, man. Let me hit, head back to the save point here. We'll save and then we'll... Uh, We'll brainstorm a bit. Maybe we do a little bit more story next episode. Let's, you know what, actually, let's look at the map. We have a sub-story there. And how do I zoom out? X? That's weird. So we have two sub-stories visible on the map. We can go to the mock bowling alley. And uh, I think the rest is kind of taken care of here. Let's check the sub-stories really quick. Uh, instant ramen. So we know he's probably near the Millennium Tower. Uh, that guy's at a club, but we have no idea how to get to him. And then old man being harassed by punks. Yeah, we have that as well. So we have a bunch of Okinawa quests. Uh, she's working at Mock Bowl. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so, you know, there's still still some stuff to take care of if we want to. If not, uh, though, we can do some main story. So, for now, thanks so much for watching my... Uh, my blah, 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 blah. Well, do this like two outros in a row that I busted. Alright, so, let's try this again. We'll get it right. Thanks so much for watching my episode of Yakuza 3 Remastered. My name's DuffKing56. Thanks so much. See you guys next time. Peace out. It still wasn't perfect! God damn it! Fade out! You got five seconds to look at the end card! See you next time! Peace out!